There is that nostalgic feeling. Ooh, I made it. First one to the returning board. to the place that you were born. That feels very different upon arrival. It's all kinds of emotions. It's something you can't really take away from yourself. Part of your own identity. Mars! <laughs> I'm happy to be in Chihuahua. And that's the end of my drone. <laughs> this is District 1 Chihuahua, where my cousin and I and her family went to go have breakfast with my grandma. So we're at District 1 in Chihuahua, and I'm just walking with my cousin around here, checking it out. Here is the movie theater. Si, sí, ¿quieres jugar? So here I'm arriving at the Central Boutique Hotel in Chihuahua Historic Center. This is the entrance. I'm here with my cousin in Chihuahua in our first drink. Salud, cheers. Mm. The Chihuahua Central Hotel Boutique is a unique and exclusive um, hotel. Every room is named after a world renowned poet. All right, we're here at the bar. The bartenders. We get our first drink. This is it, <laughs> All right, guys, this is the hotel. As you see, you can see the cathedral from here. This is a historic building here in downtown Chihuahua. They gave me this room. And so this is my card. I go like that. Traditional doors.
a humidifier, old school clock. There's actually purified water in this. She says that I just have to call for more. The closet, some snackies, cacao, more closet space with a robe, the mini bar fridge, and the restroom. And that's my hotel. Hope that one day you guys can come here. That's my cousin. She brought me here. Good morning. I'm leaving to go see some family. Uber's on the way. So these church bells um, start waking up super early in the morning. Gracias. Gracias. Yeah. So this was day two and my plans was to go with my aunt and my cousin to go to a walk at the lake and then after that we were going to spend all day at their house um, eating and talking and chatting and hanging out with each other. As you see my aunt loves to cook. She made chilaquiles con queso um, with meat and refried beans with uh, sunny side up sunny side up eggs and then throughout the day she uh, barbecued for us and made us all of these amazing treats i had so much food this day good morning folks i'm in chihuahua mexico i just left the airport to go rent a car um i have to drive to um, the small town where we're from, which is like one hour and a half, two hours away. Um, this has been a very stressful process. The herds, like on top of them, taking forever to um, to take me on the counter. It, I literally waited 15 minutes for them to say that they have only one standard car available for me. And so when I told her, um, I don't drive standard, I don't drive manual. Um, she, she just looked at me and she's like, you don't? Like with such disgrace. <laughs> that was annoying. So as they were trying to apologize for the inconvenience, I just walked away. I was just really flustered. I'm in a time crunch. I have to be at 10 a.m. in my hometown for a reunion that I set up. Siri's saying that I'm gonna be there at 10.30 now. So I'm 30 minutes late for my own reunion that I'm setting up. I have the people who are like setting up the whole event. They're calling me while I'm trying to freaking rent a car. I had to go to a different uh, company to help me with the rental car. And by the way, renting a car in Mexico is really expensive. And this little car has like a little, the littlest tires with the littlest motor. You can hear it like struggle. It's like, I'm not used to a heavy one. <laughs> <laughs> I have, there's a heavy passenger on board, folks. Uh, so yeah, this is where I'm at. Um, I'm about to start exiting town soon. Oh shoot, it says to make it right. Why did it take me? Rest out. But, I mean, I'm, the hotel made me a dirty chai, which is really good. So we'll see how it goes today. There's a lot of my cousins that said like they couldn't go, which is okay. Um, you know, family stuff, like 
there's family issues right now and you know every family has their issues but my intentions is to kind of bring everyone together and it's their choice if they want to be a part of it or not um what do you, you can't force people to do things but i think it would have been nice to just be all together all at the same time anyway so grandma is getting older and the family is just growing more apart I decided to host a reunion with my cousins, so I will be hosting her as a surprise with all of her grandchildren. Meet my grandmother. Aurora Melendez Valderrama. Santiago. Elias Emilio and Karina Adriana Estefania Marcela Paulina Diana David the third Daniel David the second These are a handful of my cousins the Melendez cousins a new generation of the Melendez family We're all living very different lives in different places we had so much fun reconnecting with each other and grandma loved and enjoyed every part of it. So after the reunion, the Dia de los Muertos festivities continued. I was able to capture some moments with the family. Good morning, folks. I'm back at the rental car place in Chihuahua. Uh, it's a little bit off the airport. The airport's over there. And the rental car place is here. I decided to tell them that I don't need a shuttle service, that I'll just walk, which I kind of regret. It's actually a little bit of a walk. Good exercise. Uh, I felt bad because um, I felt bad because <laughs> uh, so we were. I was transporting hot chocolate and hot coffee and chapurrado, and like there's chapurrado all over the back seats, not the back seats but the floor. Chapurrado everywhere. So it's okay. It'll be fine. There's one thing that I have learned in life that you may not be able to control every situation and its outcome, but you can control your attitude and how you deal with it. So instead of focusing on the things you cannot control, focus on what you can. So maybe life will be just a little bit better. Well, my journey here in Chihuahua comes to an end. Thank you so much for watching today. 
sending you lots of peace and love. Your friend, Caesar Ruiz.